in this video I am going to start um, I will talk about a different section in help the support entry level to specialists so what you have to do is um, click on login and log into the portal and once you log into the portal go to the course and then click on learning path and after this it should be on the left side it should say let me just scroll down so you guys can see it it should be under active directory training and group policy so group policy management I put some links from internet uh, this is a good um, links from uh, one of the pages that I found sources on the bottom so it's basically it start from the beginner and then it goes to all the way into advanced stuff but let me tell you guys since you guys are uh, this course has helped us so we're not going to be doing too much of a group policy it's just for you guys if somebody asks you in an interview uh, what is group policy then you should know a little bit about it because group policy if you are in a domain environment and there's a um, it's, it's a great chance that there's going to be a lot of policies running I mean one of the policies is going to be a password one everybody have a password policy uh, for their uh, computers to make sure they're secure and they are, they meet the minimum requirements and all that. So these these, these are the stuff like you know when you log into the computer, sometimes you get a message. These are, these computers are for business, blah blah blah, and that comes from group policy and stuff like that. So if somebody didn't know before, this is where it comes from. This is what I'm going to teach today. We're going to do a little test on a machine, and then you guys will see in real, and then also you guys can play around with your local group policy on your computer. So that w that we were going to talk about just basic stuff. So you get this course kind of covers that that area. So this is a little diagram that I found on internet, and uh, it says group policy right here, and it kind of it's a very self-explanatory. I mean, you can see there's one big server or two servers, and they have Active Directory and group policy installed, and now they can manage many users and many desktops, anything that falls. Then anything that is connected to the domain, it can manage it. That's basically the main idea of group policy. It 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 it's a pol It's basically when say the group policy is it a group policy? No, it's a policy. It's basically it's a multiple policies. That's why they call it group policy. So <coughs> that's what we are going to do. We're going to start with a just a single PC and where can you find group policy inside the computer? And I'm going to tell you guys something about it. Like you know, as for learning. So basically, I have a uh, Windows 8.1 Pro. You might have a different uh, Windows 7. So when you click on Search, you can search Group Policy in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to right click here and I'm going to click on Search, and then I'm going to type Group Policy. So I, as soon as I type Group, it says Edit Group Policy. I'm going to click on that. So when I click on that, you can see it tells me that it's a local computer policy that only if you do any changes in these in these folders it will only apply to this machine and that's the group policy actually but this is what I'm going to tell my learners um, friends or anyone taking this course so if you get to know all of this this is basically a mini summary of all your computer I mean that you can find almost anything in this computer if you learn group policy if you kind of master this you should be able to know almost I think 80% of the whole computer because you can find let's just go to it like, I'm just gonna go to the Windows settings side of it and then I can just click on security settings and look you, you can you can go from there now I, if I go to local policies and then when I click on security options it tells me every single thing that's going on in this computer and how this is you can configure it you can you can basically lock it down for local guest machines. Like let's say for example this is a library computer and you want to make a kiosk type computer without using any software you can do it from here you can lock things down you can lock guest accounts you can put a, a strong password in there and you can do a lot of things you can do auditing so if somebody logs in you might want to uh, get those logs say somebody try like six times a wrong password and then it will prompt and send emails out something like that other things like I can like I said it's like a whole big uh, summary of the computer it's not just it's not just like 
folders and stuff you can go around it's basically a, you can go there change stuff and it will affect your computer so make sure you do anything over here you document it because if you do a lot of changes just for even for testing on a real machine you will definitely forget and then it's really hard to go back and find out what's going on the where did you do it all the changes and all that so if you click on control panel it gives you all that stuff that is in the computer you can do changes with your network you can come back and learn about dns clients every single thing like i said it's a huge thing so we are not going through this and uh, for this in this the video uh, the purpose of this video is to basically tell you guys there's a thing called group policy and you can do changes in there and how is it done in a in a basically as a help us because this course is real skill course so we're not going to go through and do anything in a local pc because that's not actually what we want to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you guys I'm gonna go back to this picture and we're gonna go back to this area right here that how is it done in a in a corporate world or small businesses medium businesses so wherever there's a Windows environment and they have Active Directory and they have good policies even if not Windows environment you can do group policies in a different way too so I'm, I'm in a domain right now this is my domain controller and uh, what I have is I have Active Directory set up and also have a group policy um, set up in here so what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and go to my server manager and usually this is how you're gonna go or maybe on your uh, in your computers they will have like an add-in so they will you will have all the Active Directory tools in there on Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you will see this part over there so you can go to tools and then you click on group policy management when I clicked on group policy management this is actually this contoso.com is uh, I just closed that image. So that Contoso.com was that big image that I just I circled. This is where you control all the group policies. Now I can I can do changes here, and then I can go to my Windows right here. So I can do changes here, and now let's say for example this machine that I'm working on right now, this one is let's say this is the computer right here. Now this is also controlled by this machine right here because it's under Contoso.com, and that machine is a client of Contoso.com. That is actually part of this machine so now I can do changes from one place and it will affect every single computer so that is the major uh, basically like Active Directory when you do change to Active Directory like you re re you reset a password for a user it affect that user on that machine so it's th it's the same way but it's more of like a controlling stuff um, as a user part of it over or windows side of it so we're gonna jump in and open um, contoso.com and then open this C there's a default policy basically that policy is applied to that machine um, and it says say that everybody everybody in this uh, um, every all the computers that are connected to this domain this apply this policy is applied over there we're not going to touch this now in real world you will see a lot of policies in here it might say mapping drives this that they will have special groups in there and they will have special policies in there like I said it's a huge thing so you will have very different things so as a help desk you will never come over here and change stuff this is not something you're going to be doing even if you have rights I will tell you guys do not change anything or edit anything or do anything over here because your administrator might have set it up so if you do any changes it will definitely prompt your administrator or manager and they will come back to you because this is not where you're supposed to be but let's say you're a one man IT you are you're working somewhere and then you got a task to do something small let's say for example mapping a drive for all the users your ma manager told you go ahead uh, create a group policy uh, and uh, map this drive from this server and then make sure every single computer have it so either you would go to these machines physically and just imagine how much time is it going to take you. you you need to either come up with some kind of script that runs without the user logged in but most of the time you would need that user to be logged in to map a drive for them and it's a very hectic thing like you know you let's say if you have 300 computers and not 300 users are going to be there for the same time somebody's going to be telecommuting somebody's going to be off you're going to do all this setup so this is where it, it saves your time and that is definitely you're going to one day one day in your life you will come to this kind of point that you're going to be doing something like this and you'll be like oh man i don't want to go to these 300 computers i need to do something from one place so that we're all just talking so let's just do something for a test so we can finish this video this like I said this is a basic video so what we're gonna do is to create a simple group policy all you gotta do is right click on it and create GPO in this domain and link it here so I'm gonna just say map drive 
all right so now that group policy is created but it's not effective yet it, it won't do anything till I add people over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and this is how you get into that policy you right click and then and it's the same thing after that just like you open a group policy on your local machine it is just opening a group policy on the domain so that can affect every single thing so you can apply it two ways you can either apply the policy on a computer as a whole so it doesn't matter who logs into that computer it will affect it on that computer or you can specify just for users you can put a policy on users so every time users log in or a specific user or a group of users logs in they will, it will affect it that um, the policy will be affected on that only so what we're going to do is we're just going to open up a little bit for so you guys can see what it's what's inside in there so I'm just going to do this open it a little bit here and this policies are just for like security policies and all that we're not going to touch anything in the security side but I was just going to show you guys what's in there so I opened almost all of the the policy group folders I left some which I don't think I'm going to be using it today but this is uh, you have a, when you open a computer configuration you have a little bit difference in there like for example if you click if you open Windows setting here all the way on the bottom you don't see map because that won't apply on a machine level but if you go all the way down and you cl you click on the same settings you see drive maps right here now it's gonna apply on all the users that I'm going to put over here so just for uh, for uh, just to test how it works and then how you guys are going to push the policy I'm going to create something here but before that I need to map a drive so what ma what drive that I'm talking about let's say a scenario my manager told me to create a folder for everyone in this building or let's just say one person because we want to be a little bit specific so then you guys can understand stuff so here uh, I'm going to say decon so this this map is only for decon okay I'm going to right click on it and before I do that I need to create decon user in the system which I didn't make it so I'm going to quickly make decon in our system and go back here to my Active Directory, Users and Computers, and I'm going to create a new user here. Let's say Dan, and then I'm going to say Con. So D Con, click Next. I'm going to give a password. Right, I'm going to click next, next. So Decon is a normal user now. He is added uh, uh, in our Active Directory, and I made a folder for Decon only. So what I want is every time Decon log into our system, he should have this map, this drive map to his system just for him. So I'm going to go back to that, and now I'm going to click on Properties, and I'm going to go on to the sharing part of it I'm going to say permissions and I'm going to remove everyone and I'm going to add decon in there and this is another good learning video for you guys too to search people in there so let me tell you something else about, uh, which is uh, kind of a little bit every time you find a computer here let's say this computer name is admin it's going to give me see there's no computers in here but it's if you want to find computer you have to click on object types and click on computers and when you click on admin now and search for it you should see that computer in there so just remember that some some people get confused I got a email from somebody who's like I couldn't find the computer here so that's how you do it so I'm gonna find decon in there and I found it I'm gonna give him all the permissions and I'm going to say okay and apply and I'm going to say okay now I have uh, the network path for it I'm going to copy it also I'm going to go to security and add him over here just to make sure he got all the rights to the folder so now I have a path decon is the only person in there and administrator can also go in there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this go back to my active uh, group policy which is right here map you right click on it go to map drive new and here it says create I'm going to create one 
and I'm doing only basic stuff. You can definitely do some changes, and just I just want to make sure that it works. So reconnect whenever Decon logs in, and I'm just say it's personal drive P drive, and I'm going to say what is the drive letter? I'll just say P. This is optional, so I'm just going to leave it and apply here, and click OK. So now that so this tells you that one group policy is in effect. This is right here, map drives have one policy that I just did this is effective right now if I put decon in this policy it is going to affect whenever he logs in so that's how you do that's how you make a simple policy it can go to very very detailed and advanced stuff but that's how you do simple stuff So right here what we're gonna do I'm going to remove this authenticated users and I'm going to put decon in there so decon is in there right now all I gotta do is refresh this policy and this is effective right now so we got this policy it is going to whenever whenever they um, log into the system it will basically go in there um, and make sure that decon have p drive in there so what we're going to do over here since this is a different username i'm going to log in as decon for the first time and i want to see if it's going to work without me restarting the computer so that's i'm just going to tell you guys why it will work or not so log all sign out. Okay. Other users, I'm going to say Vcon. And this is the first time I made the account, so it might take a little time. So welcome Decon is doing its thing right now, creating it for the first time. So we're in the system right now and we'll see if decon is going to work. So let's go back to our folder. And there you go. You see the P drive is in there. So let's say if it was a new user, you set up the profile for them and you have that policy, you wouldn't be coming here and doing all this stuff. Like you you would be going to your computer mapping it and then do all that stuff for decon so not that you save that step for all the users if this if you put that policy and you say everybody in my uh, system for example if I come here and I say all the domain users uh, need to get that P drive I can put domain users here and everybody will get it and this is how it this is why group policy is so powerful but you gotta remember what you do over here so you can make one policy it's suggested that you can make too many policies because you know all the all c computers have to run these policies and it can slow your system down but if you have to make something then you have to make it but like I said as a help desk you're not doing this stuff you're not creating policy but maybe one time and if you're in a position that you can do it then this is how you do it so you guys just saw that policy right there <coughs> I'm going to disconnect it right now right now there's no policy applied so sometimes what happens is like you know you might be inside you might be um, th there's another way you can push the policy let's say if for, for some reason you're inside the computer and you think that this computer didn't go through the policy didn't went through you can also do a GP update which is a command line um, prompt so I, c I will do from here just go here command prompt run as admin and since Decon is not an admin. I'm going to log in as administrator. The command is gp update slash force. That will force that, and then let's see if that policy is going to apply, and we're going to get p drive here. And there you go. It just popped in. So that that's another. What happened when when we restarted uh, for first time when we logged off uh, when we logged in as decon the policy applied because it was the first time and the policy uh, was like you know it was a silent push from a domain so uh, you 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 guys see this so if you guys do this if you have you have you just create a policies and you're 